Good morning, folks. I don't think our karmic universe liked the fact that U.S. government officials are telling folks we don't predict earthquakes, so please allow me to delay our peek at spaceweathernews.com to see yesterday's prediction. Well, folks, that massive corona hole up north brought volcanoes and quakes, but that's quieted down for days now, and it is departing, leaving our next opening incoming on the south. Didn't even have a five-pointer in the last 24 hours, but we've seen New Zealand and areas to its immediate north rock with this exact structure in periods before. And so, alas, the global seismic and volcanic situation should get another boost before the weekend is over. And my eyes are on the southwest Pacific. Just a few hours later, we saw a seven-pointer strike New Caledonia to the immediate north of New Zealand. And then a six-pointer struck Fiji shortly thereafter. Hopefully that area has released all of its pressure now. Anyway, now we can come back to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star was not so calm. Nearly half of the entire central filament structures released in eruptive fashion, and while SOHO coronagraphs don't show much ejecta, they do show some, and one must imagine some of that would be coming this way. We'll update as NASA and NOAA do, and of course keep our eyes on the big guy incoming, but still over at the limb now. Solar flaring was nothing special, minor sea flare only, and that's the Earth-facing quiet shutting down all magnetic interaction among the sizable sunspots incoming. Only one strong beta grouping where polarities are close there. Solar wind from Discover here, in addition to the phi angle shift before yesterday's earthquake, which may have added to the magnitude of the first big one. Look to the right at that hitch in density and spike in speed. Thus far, Earth's shield hasn't been able to fully calm down, and the plasma penetration events through our shield continue. We'll have eyes on the solar wind. It is fortuitous that yesterday's quake prediction hit so well because we put out a video on YouTube about that specific thing just a few hours earlier. The challenge page, spaceweathernews.com slash challenge, has yesterday's update on four important points that have been brought up of late. If you're new to the topic, the introduction to our challenge is just right below that with the beginners and intermediate versions, and then we have our two previous update videos. Definitely not the time to be slacking and falling behind here, folks, and piling on. Today or tomorrow, we're going to update Earth's magnetic reversal with some of the latest evidence and analysis from global experts suggesting a reversal is indeed at our doorstep. That'll be our next episode of Deeper Look. Anyway, folks, we've got shots of our star to close. It's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.